Rico and the Caribbean is now classified as a post-tropical cyclone, but it's still packing dangerously powerful winds as it batters Canada. Christian Benavides is in Miami, where another tropical storm is expected to strengthen into a hurricane. High winds and heavy seas swept this home off its foundation in Newfoundland. Multiple homes in Port Basque were washed out to sea, and at least one woman was rescued and taken to the hospital. Storms of this magnitude don't normally pound the Canadian shoreline like this. Where it fits in the history books, we'll have to make that determination after the fact, but it, it is going to be a, certainly a historic uh, extreme event for Eastern Canada. The damage has spread beyond the shoreline as well. The driver of this truck reportedly escaped with minor injuries. Power lines and trees are down throughout the region, leaving thousands without power. This is the same storm that battered the Caribbean for nearly a week. More than half of Puerto Rico is still without power after Fiona slammed into the island last Sunday. We want to send in large amounts of food and water, um, but because of the infrastructure damage to roads, there are some areas that we just can't send trucks. Meanwhile, another potentially devastating storm is gaining strength in the Caribbean. Preparations are underway in Florida as Tropical Storm Ian is churning a path towards the state. People are stocking up on bottled water and filling up gas tanks. Asking people to make sure they have a plan. And then the next thing that we're going to be pushing out is know your evacuation zone and know your home. We call it know your zone, know your home. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has already declared a state of emergency as Ian is set to hit the state as a hurricane next week. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami. The governor's disaster declaration stretches along Florida's Gulf Coast from the Panhandle to the Keys. Members of the community broke a sweat on the 17th annual American Cancer Society Soul Burner in Chaseburg. The one-mile walk event brought in people from across the state. People could take the walk and enjoy the vendors, live music, and each other's company. The event was a chance for the community to celebrate survivors and honor those lost. We have luminaries that line the path. They're in memory or in honor of folks that we've lost to cancer. And um, so you can walk along the path and, and remember and honor them. This event was a fundraiser for the American Cancer Society. DeGarmo says they had a goal to raise $120,000 today, but hit $127,000 already this morning, and it's only going up. It all wraps up tonight at 6.30, or it already did. Area artists took their brushes to the bluffs at a quick paint competition this morning. The plein air painters sent up on, set up on Grandad Bluff where they got two hours to paint the landscape. This is part of the Between the Bluffs plein air art show. Organizers say two hours is a quick session, but these artists are experts at capturing what they see on canvas. It's a pretty fun, fun event, but it also takes a high level of skill to complete a painting in that length of time. You'd be surprised at how um, professional the paintings look in that time period. If you'd like to see those paintings and more, they're on display at Studio Gallery 1311 on Market Street. The gallery will be open tomorrow from noon to 3. And for the first time since the start of the pandemic, the Hmong community gathered to celebrate their new year. It is an event that we celebrate after the harvest season and it's to give thanks to, for, the, for the season. Organizers say the crowd today was much larger than expected, but they're glad to get together to celebrate. The festival has live music and dance, along with lots of traditional food that's hard to find at other times of the year. Another aspect of the celebration, vibrant cultural clothing. It's just an event that we enjoy every year. Again, you know, with, I've been collecting my outfits for the last couple of years, not able to wear it, um, but everybody does want to come out and enjoy it, uh, wear their beautiful outfits that they have a two-day event so if you couldn't go today there's plenty of fun tomorrow too starting at 9 a.m. everyone is invited to celebrate and still ahead Eric will have your forecast the National Home Furnishings event has come to home furniture everything is on sale up to 15% off sale prices with instant factory rebates plus no money down three-year special financing the National Home Furnishings event at home furniture at Blaine's Farm and Fleet, you know we have the products you need to grow a great garden. So right now, save on fall canning and preserving supplies to enjoy your homegrown harvest all year long. Like 12 packs of ball canning jars, just $10.99. Six-piece Norpro canning sets, only $9.99. 
Select Mrs. Wages canning and pickling mixes are 20% off. Plus, knock out fall projects with assorted Rust-Oleum 2X spray paint, $4.99 each. Find value at you protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. The power to change your future is now. The SUVs are here. Be one of the first to drive a new Explorer, Bronco Sport, or Edge. Custom order your SUV today. Lock in 2.9% financing for 60 months, plus 500 retail order bonus cash on a new 2023 Ford Explorer, Bronco Sport, or Edge. During the National Mattress Event at Home Sleep Express, get up to an extra 15% off sale prices with instant factory rebates on Luxuria and Thomas Cole. This pillow top queen is just $594, plus three-year special financing. The National Mattress Event at Home Sleep Express. Start off screen. I Highs today in the 50s and 60s. You can see uh, temperatures right now not bad at all. 66 was the high in La Crosse, 69 in Preston, 66 in Red Wing, 68 in Winona, 62 in Eau Claire, 57 was the high in Marshall. So the first forecast for the evening going into the overnight hours, mostly cloudy skies, not going to rule out a shower chance. Overnight lows will be in the low to mid 50s. Winds will be out of the northwest at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, look at that high, 68 degrees, mostly sunny skies, breezy and warmer. Winds will be out of the northwest at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Some places seeing gusts as high as 35 miles per hour. And here's how we get there. We start the day off with temperatures in the 50s. We go to 62 by the 11 o'clock hour. Look at that 2 o'clock temperature. We'll see temperatures in the upper 60s. We'll see clear skies by the 8 o'clock hour with the temperature hovering right around 60. And look at that wind staying out of the northwest throughout the afternoon going into the evening hours. Highs tomorrow, much like today. Some places a little warmer. 68 in La Crosse, 65 in Viroqua, 70 in Boscobel. Decorah will go to 68. 67 will be the temperature in Eau Claire. Now in terms of wind, let's go ahead and start the clock and you can see that wind starting to pick up as we go into the afternoon and early evening hours. We're seeing that nice northwesterly flow, which is what's going to keep us cool again for tomorrow. Keep in mind our average high for this time of year is 73 degrees and some places for at least the next several days won't even hit that. We'll stay in the 60s. So we're seeing a line of rain and even some rumbles of thunder stretching from Eau Claire all the way down to Prairie to Sheen. This is going to push its way off towards the east as we go into the next several hours. That's the reason why you have that rain chance uh, in the forecast. So the details of the eight day has temperatures going into the upper 50s, low 60s for Monday, 58 for Tuesday. Look at Wednesday, 60 degrees. Some places won't even see that. Some places will see temperatures staying in the upper 50s. We go to 68 for Friday, 72 for Saturday. Don't don't forget Thursday, Friday, Saturday is Oktoberfest, and right now not a bad forecast at all with temperatures in the 60s and 70s. We'll go to 73 for next Sunday. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a few minutes. Connect with us on Twitter at News 8 News. Or you can always find us at News8000.com. We asked our customers what they love about Blaine's Farm and Fleet's auto service. I'm getting all of my maintenance done here. I just had tires and brake job done last year. I'm getting an oil change today. I trust them with my car. I had a battery put in here. They did a great job. With Fleet in our name, you know we're auto experts. Schedule an appointment in store or online and experience what others have since 1955. Tires and batteries, trust and care. Classic Antique and Collector Car Auction, Winona, Minnesota, October 7th and 8th. Everyone welcome is a buyer, seller, or spectator. Midwest's largest collector car auction. Consign now and turn your classic into cash. Find out more at remlingerauctions.com or call 507-450-3173 today. Remlingerauctions.com. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know it needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, 
we still can lift each other up. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy providers are working together to help keep your heat and power on. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here. Sunny in 60s the next several days, actually upper 50s on Tuesday. Oktoberfest shaping up to look good with temperatures in the 60s and 70s. All right, thank you so much for watching tonight. We hope to see you right back here at 10.